Again, my name is Dr. Tapper, and I am no stranger to you as this is my third time here addressing the regulations and mask mandates. The numbers are hyperinflated by false positives and the never-ending doom and gloom from the mainstream media. I was taught that fear is the fire that fuels the furnace of disease. And when will this fear-mongering stop? It is terrifying to me to think how easily this mask mandate could turn into a vaccine one. You see, I follow the vaccine narrative very closely, and I have been for the last decade. I have witnessed firsthand the damages that can occur after a vaccination, conditions like transverse myelitis or dn barre I have met many families that have lost a child to vaccine injury. Injuries are real and not rare. The companies that lie and gaslight these poor families are the same companies and organizations that feed you and the public this corona propaganda. Last year, the World Health Organization stated that the greatest threat to our health is people who refuse vaccinations. Shortly after that, the ACIP for the CDC stated that they, they cannot force vaccinations, but they could force compliance. How are they going to do that? I don't wear a mask anywhere I go. And the public shaming that occurs is beyond humiliating. I have been refused business, and on some occasions I couldn't enter the store. If the mask mandate turns into a vaccine mandate, you will not be allowed to go back to work, earn a paycheck, renew your driver's license, or function in everyday society without proof of the vaccination. We had draconian bills sweeping the nation last year coming after our medical freedoms. And then the coronavirus came. The Trojan horse to implement this tyrannical agenda. I believe this to be spiritual and psychological warfare in the people. The rate of suicide is the highest it ever has been in human history. More people have died this year of suicide than from corona. More, the National Alliance on Mental Illness Helpline has seen a 65% increase in calls and emails since March. In other words, the vast majority of health, emotional, physical, psychological, and financial hardships now faced by citizens are not due to COVID-19. They are due to ongoing catastrophic lockdowns, restrictions, and policies imposed by unaccountable, irrational governments. Since when is it your job to pass legislation on health? History teaches us that when the government takes away a certain freedom or liberty, they do not freely give it back. Martin Luther King Jr. once stated that oppressed people cannot remain oppressed forever. The yearning for freedom eventually manifests itself. We are six months into this circus that was supposed to be two weeks to flatten the curve. I pray, I pray to the good Lord above that, he, that the people wake up and realize that we're not dealing with a temporary inconvenience here. But we are headed into a full-on medical dictatorship. Thank you.